Hey guys, it's Mariela. Welcome to Central Supply slash Soul Supplies Grand Opening. Again, we're excited to be the newest hype vintage sneaker store in the city. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of cool stuff going on here. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy as you see the night. Cheese. I guess that's why they envy me On track, now we gon' weigh up They'll be used as easy as a layup Working late, stay up, stay up Counting all the way up Counting blessings, yeah, you know we pray up Way up, pray up On track, now we gon' weigh up Now we gon' weigh up, now we going. On track, now we gon' weigh up Now we gon' weigh up, now we going. I got his, his band like I'm Barry Bonds Running through the money, but the money's long. I don't love it, but I need it. Keep it coming on. Only family, me and friends, we don't get along. I put that on my name. We here at Central Supply, grand opening. Uh, it's exciting. Uh, we here with the uh, owner. GM. GM. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The GM of Central Supply. We got some questions that we're gonna run by him. So we're about to get right into it. So as we said, we have Adrian. Adrian, you got your mic on. You can talk. To oh, me. hey, how you doing? <laughs> I thought I was waiting for the mic. No, no, no. You can, okay, cool. you can get right on to it. So we're at Central Supply, and one of the first things that just jumped off the, the, the map to me was, like, what's up with this spelling? Like, <laughs> I, like why couldn't we just spell out Central in the word supply? What's up with that? that so you can say it over and over. So you're, like, you're trying to figure it out. You know, what, what is it? I tried to figure it out the first time, so I was like, what is, what, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it sticks in your mind. You're like, sure. what is this? Why did they spell it that way? So gotcha. that was one of the uh, thoughts behind the name. Okay. So myself, I'm, I'm always kind of digging in trying to find out like, well, maybe this had to do with like search engine marketing or something, yeah. right? Did that have anything to do with it? Like people searching the store and kind of coming up with algorithms? Did that have any spelling in this? Yeah. It, it, Played also a part in it, you know. We stand apart from all the uh, kicks and soul, yeah. and, you know. So it completely separates us from that algorithm. So now we create our own, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's very dope. That's very dope. So we already talked about the different spelling, which is amazing. I like the thought train process that. But the next thing I want to say is that caught my eye. The eye is the NFT wall. I feel like that's like something totally different. A lot of us are in the world are getting into this, this space, but how did you guys bring that into like a retail space with sneakers? Like, talk to us a little bit about that. So the idea came from what we do with sneakers, which is buy, sell, trade. And this is the new buy, sell, trade digital art. So it's like, if everyone's doing it online, why can't we bring it in store and make a gallery out of it, right? Yeah. So we're all learning. At the same time, like, we can get ahead of the curve and start something that no one else has done uh, yeah, in a retail spot. I haven't seen that anywhere. Yeah. Right. That, so if we want to talk about purchasing an NFT, like, what would you say like average cost of an NFT is? I don't think there is an average. Like, okay. it's, a, it's like art. What's the, what's the average cost of art? There is none, right? It could it's whatever be, you want. Whatever it's whatever you, the buyer wants to pay, right? It could be on a spray painted on a placard or it can be a, a Mona Lisa. Right? Gotcha. So let's get more specific then. What's it at Central Supply then? What's like an average that we want to buy NFT right now from here? How much we got to spend? <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we yeah. want. Yeah, quite a bit. Here yeah, you get go. your crypto wallet ready. <laughs> also, we can pay in crypto though. Yeah, that's gonna go hand in hand. Right? Okay then. So, crypto payments with NFTs, and also crypto payments for merchandise. Okay. Then. Would it be footwear, apparel? 
And we're still developing all those uh, wallets and exchanges. Right? Okay, then cool. Can you pay for sneakers with crypto right now? Yeah, not today. Not today. Okay. But it is, right. it's, it's coming. It's, it's in coming. development. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's definitely cool, man. I, 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 love, I love the differentiation, yeah, yeah. though, for yeah. sure. So one of the biggest things that I saw when I walked in was the assortment of stuff. Yeah. Right? You guys have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, how did you come about? How'd you get all this? And what was the thinking behind the different sections, the different areas, and the, the vintages and all that? So the, all this stuff comes from what's already out in the market, right? For sure. There's a lot of stores that have lots of stuff, but it's all jam-packed, crammed in, and we're thinking, well, let's get all the same stuff, not the same stuff, but all the stuff, and put it in a bigger space yeah. where it's more visible, more boutique, shoppable. But boutique-like. So it, exactly. It's, it, very easy on the eyes. Exactly. Very easy. You don't have to dig. Mm -hmm. It's easy to see, shop. And, and we did the vintage with a partner of ours, which he does a great job of doing sourcing vintage. Okay. And like, this is great stuff from the 80s and 90s. I see that. Right? Yeah. And it's all processed, and it's ready to wear. You won't, you know, it doesn't have that it's soft. That's, it's that's soft. one thing yeah. I told. I one told of the main things we saw. He, he pointed out like, hey, this is soft. Engine. Yeah. So you can you can buy it today and wear it tonight. That's it's awesome. It's ready to go. Cool. That's yeah. awesome. One of the other things that we notice when you walk in here is the sneaker restoration yeah. area. What made you guys do that? So we saw that there was a need in the market because there was a curbside or valet service for mm -hmm. it. It's like, well, why isn't anyone doing it? And uh, in store, right? So we need to bring that to market first, as soon as as soon as possible. And we found some great partners in Soul Supply to do that. The ladies, we, they had us on the sh we had them on the show a uh, few weeks back, and it was a great show. We loved them, um, and I'm been dropping stuff off of them myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're they're growing crazy, yeah. like crazy. Any other questions, Finley? Well, I mean, I think one of the the big things is we have this grand opening today. Yeah. So, I mean, but where do you see Central Supply going, and what's like? What's your ultimate goal of like Central Supply? The ultimate goal, I, I see several locations. Mm -hmm. You know, we want Houston, Dallas, L.A., Miami, Vegas, right? We can take this footprint and transport it into the next largest right. city. Yeah. All right. So that would be the ultimate goal. Ultimate goal, man. Hey, yeah. hey, I know, right? Hey, man, we love it. It's been a good time. We really do appreciate you. I know you got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and let you go, though, right, my man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Definitely. Thank you. Definitely, it's been man. fun. Let's appreciate have some fun tonight. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So we're here with an employee of Central Supply, Christian. What's up, my man? What's up? How you doing? <laughs> so good. So Christian, tell us about getting this place together, man. What was that process like? How long did it take you guys? Was it hard work, man? Man, it wasn't hard work. Yeah. Man, it was the hardest work. <laughs> a lot of long days, long nights. Yeah. Early mornings, but mm -hmm. we got it together. We stuck it out. And we just, we get everything done. Anything we need to get done, we get it done. Nah, for sure. I like that attitude. I'm going to tell you now, this is probably one of the most well put together stores that I've seen, bro. Thank like, you. We uh, appreciate that. Incredible work by you guys. So, as Phil talked about you getting the store together and every, everything, right? Where, like, what's your background? Like, have you worked in sneaker boutiques before? Or, like, this is your first one? Nah, I've actually never worked in a sneaker boutique or anything like it, but, you know, I've, I've been having, I had damn near every pair of Jordans that came out as I was a kid, ah. in middle school and high school, reselling, just all that kind of stuff. And I really ended up working here because I'm good at the back end stuff. Okay, yeah. So, you know. So you that's gotta, cool, so now we're getting to it. Now we're yeah. getting to it. So. You've been wearing J's your whole life. Yeah. What was the first pair you ever copped? That I ever bought myself? Yeah, ever bought yourself. Like, yeah. or the most memorable one, like one that just stood out at you, like. You know what? It's not a crazy pair, but when I was in sixth grade, when the cool grade, I mean, when the wolf grade threes okay. and the green glow fours came out, them back to back weekends, yeah. Yeah. I never forget those weekends. <laughs> like, them, them the one, those are shoes I really wanted, yeah. and I got them, and it, I'll never forget those shoes. And I'm blessed enough to have a dad that cared about me enough. Yeah, yeah. Me that's dope. That's yeah. dope. That's dope right there, man. So, we talked about how you got into shoes, Central Supply here. Like, like what's your goal for Central Supply? Or like, what's your goal for you within Central Supply? And, 
honestly, I don't have any personal goals, but at the end of the day, we just need this. We're trying to be the biggest, best sneaker store in the country, if possible. And yeah, and we can do it. We got the space. We have to. We have everything behind us to be able to do it. Yeah. There's nothing that's stopping us. Got so. you. Hey, that's a serious face right there. That's a that's a, that's a serious answer right there, man. So, are you on like the assortment side of? of all of this or you just like on image i know you mentioned like the back end stuff yeah. like so what is your actual operations here okay so i'm a manager i honestly i do literally everything oh, okay. a little bit of every single thing that needs to happen i shit today i had to hang paintings on the wall <laughs> i could do it all but shit data entry um selling all that stuff i, I get it done i'll buy shoes uh, I negotiate consignment deals, all that. Okay, then. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's dope, then, man. Hey, you got, you got something for me, Bola? Got any questions? Chris, you seem like a very smart, smart j young man. Yeah. <laughs> What's the craziest question you've been asked while working at this store so far? Craziest question I've been asked? Well, you just have to look at the person like, Okay, this is, gonna, this is not that crazy, but it, it was definitely funny. Um, this dude walked in, he had on these little flip-flops. <laughs> and he was like, y'all have these? And he mentioned the model. And I was like, ooh, I, I don't really know. And he was like, no, th these. And then started showing me pictures. I was like, well, sir, uh, we don't really carry uh, flip-flops. He was like, but it's these with a little bit more support. I was like, all right, well. <laughs> oh, you was in a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess you need to I try. You got to try. <laughs> well, we had Christian here. Um, thank you for having us at the store. Um, we're ready for the grand opening. It's going to be something dope. And let's get it. Yeah, yes, appreciate sir. You, man. Appreciate hey, you. Hey, appreciate y'all coming through. Appreciate you, man. Definitely. Yes, sir. All right, there was a so we're back with another employee from the beautiful Central Supply. We're at this grand opening. We're here with Miss Chloe. Chloe, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, thank you. All right, so we just talked to um, uh, Christian, and um, he was telling us about how you guys got this store together. So I want to hear from your perspective, like how was getting the store together and everything, how was that? Uh, it was pretty big. Like, we, we went from having nothing in the store, mm -hmm. literally nothing, everything you see here, mm -hmm. to having to put it all in, having to move, all these things y'all see, yeah. we did that. We moved wow. all of those right wow. there. Putting the boards on the floor, organizing the shoes. It was just like a really, so y'all built it from really the ground hard. up. From the ground up, Built yes. it from the ground up. That is dope. We that learned is. the system from the ground up as well, like learning how to put in shoes properly, how to, you know, putting it into our website. We learned all of that from scratch. Let me ask you. Were you into shoes before you got this job? You can be totally honest with us. <laughs> so my dad is actually a pretty big reseller in Houston. Oh, so, yeah. so you've been into shoes. <laughs> been into the... shoes. I, I know about shoes, but I never really was like you just know trying dad, to hit you a just drop, know, you know what you I mean? You know just dad brought you some. Yeah, Anytime you like needed that. a pair. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, sir. So you talk about your dad being a reseller. Yes, sir. That's interesting. So how about your collection? How does that look? I mean, you know, I got some, I got some heat. You got some heat? Yeah. No, you, you got to put your feet on the table. You got to put your feet on the table. What you got up there? We're going to move it closer. What you got up there? Let's see. What you got? What you got? Y'all know me. Y'all know me with my Yeezy. <laughs> you got your friend 350s on. Yes, so sir. So are you like, uh, are you passionate towards Adidas to Nike or is it? Honestly, I wear everything, you know. I'm not like discriminating here. Okay. But I really like Adidas, I do. But my foot is more flat, so for me they're just way more comfortable. Okay. Adidas, yeah. Nike and cool. eh, they're right, they're right. That's cool. Look at that, look at that. So you have have like a bunch of I wanna call it departments in this store. Yes. What is like your most exciting part of the store like for you? For me, personally, the Supreme girl case right here. Okay. I just, you see that Supreme sweater? I want oh, it, I want it. That. That's, the, that's the LV joint, right? Yes. Okay, then. That collab was crazy. Okay, it was then. Amazing. But yeah, that's probably like this girl room right here. And all the off-white you see in there, all the yeah. chrome. Do you own any off-white? No. I wish. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I hey, you work in, if you worked in here, you're going to get some though. Yeah, you're right, I, you're I right. know you're going to get some. <laughs> Hey, see, that wasn't so bad, right? No. See, so, hey, cool. see, there it is. The, the interview was laced up. See, there we go. Bet, bet. We appreciate you. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Central Supply Grand opening. We're here with Jay Good. He's just in here exploring the store. So, Jay Good, tell me what you feel about the store. 
Uh, it's a pretty dope store, man. I do a lot of vintage shopping. Okay. I like buying a lot of rare kicks. And to see this in the heart of Houston, like this big, mm -hmm. it's pretty amazing Like to be able to walk in, grab some of the dopest gear, dope kicks, and walk out. So what, I know it's a lot of vintage apparel in here. So what you think about the vintage apparel that they have here? Uh, the price is decent. Okay. I mean, I saw I walked over and saw a lot of Carhartt stuff, mm -hmm. and I mean they have it in different colors, different sizes of the same stuff, which makes it mean like they got a lot of supply. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's what I really I'm looking forward to. Okay. So tell us what you got on your feet today. What you rocking? Uh, I got the 09 Space 09, Jam. You hit it. 09. 09 Space Jams, <laughs> dead stock worn one time today. So oh, okay. we rocking okay. heat all day, baby. All right, well, Jay Good, we appreciate you, brother. Thank you for, for sure, taking man. our time. ACX laced up. Stay laced up. <laughs> so Braxton, what's going on? What's good? Yeah. And Central Supply. Yes, sir. What you think about the experience so far? Man, I'm not, the store is wild. Like, I feel, I'm so happy for Drew and everything he's done, how he got here. Like, I've been going to his stores for a long time. And just seeing this, like, it's crazy. Like, you got everything in here, vintage, hype, shoes, like, like, you got all this right here. Yeah, I got you, I got you. So you think of all this stuff, like, which, like, the most impressive thing about the store to you? Uh, definitely the, like, the, the hype. So the, the Supreme Joint? Yeah, like the Supreme, Supreme Joint. Okay, that's crazy. cool, that's cool though. So what you got on your feet today? Uh, I got the Lightning Fours on. I like those. Yes, sir. It's one of my favorite Fours. Favorite Fours? It's one of my favorite Fours. What, what do you like about the Lightning Four? Uh, I mean, I feel like yellow, you can put a lot together with yellow. Um, and basically me, I just like wearing Fours. All right, that's cool. So we had to pick out one shoe in here that you could take home with you today. What would be that one shoe? The CPFM Dunks that's over here. Okay, the Dunks. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Flea market. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you play Flea Market Dunks. Yes, sir. Hey, that's a good choice right there. I was already already looking at them. That's <laughs> on my list. On my list. That's a good choice. Hey, yeah, man. I definitely appreciate it. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate definitely it. have fun with the store, bro. You too. Thank definitely. you. All right, we got our guy Chin here, finally. We still got to get you on the podcast. All right, for sure, for sure. You know? I, I've been looking for time, and I haven't had that call the time yet, so it's coming soon and soon, though. I know, sure, I know. Sure. Okay, so tell us about the store. How do you like it so far? So first things first, Adrian. Yes. It's the guy that actually put me in the position the way I am right now. Yeah. So social status, active athlete is the reason why. I had those jobs, the reason yeah. why I'm the best person I am today. So yeah. shout out to him. Shout out to Adrian. Shout out to Adrian. But as a store, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah. First thing, first thing it's, it's big as hell. Right? I didn't think yeah. it was this big. No, I didn't think it was this big either. Yeah. So he told me that it was the same closet as here. Yeah. It's really, really, really nice. I love what he's doing. He has a yeah. whole customization, restoration station. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Drew on Vintage on that side. Yeah. A lot and of all the like, sneakers. Dope shoes. Yeah. So what part, like we said, there's multiple areas. What's your favorite part of you the You already know me. Door? I'm kind of boozy. So this, where we are right, right here, this Where is it? Yeah, it's where is that? <laughs> so but I mean, like, all the other shoes are actually pretty dope, yeah. man. So yeah. a lot of exclusive shoes here for sure. And I think I like it all around, honestly. So before we go, tell us what's on your feet. Oh, uh, so this is going to be the Jordan. It's yeah. It's all right. So it's all right. So it's all right. So these are the Air Jordan Red Fours. Yeah. One of my favorite shoes in my collection right now. Yeah. I think I had it, I think what is it, 2017? Yeah. Had it ever since, and it's, it's going to the grave with me. Same. It's going well, to the thank grave you for coming on yeah, here. Let us interview. Yeah. We'll see well, you thanks again. for having me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all, we have Jenna Lees with us. Thank you for coming on. So let us know, what do you think about this store? I think it's really cool. Yeah. Overall, they have a good quality and big yeah. collection. Yeah. Everything pretty much. I think I'm getting something. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, dang, I can't leave the store without yeah, getting something, right? Yeah. Right? So what? I know they have different areas. They have the clothes, the vintage, the sneakers. Is there a favorite area that you like? I was trying to check out whatever they had on the women's yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw you over my, there. Yeah, I would say that's my favorite and the yeah. T-shirts. Yeah, the T-shirts. Yeah. For sure, for sure. So let us know what you have on your feet because I know you're very fashionable. I feel the whole outfit. These are 2015, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Maybe I love them. With a little, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Of course. Running through the money, but the money's long. I don't love it, but I need it. Keep it coming on. Only friendly, me and friends, we don't get along. I put that on my name, that I put them on. I put myself on stage as they sing along. I might book a session, do a hundred songs. I'ma let you hear them just to prove you wrong. On track, now we going way 
stay up. Don't be used to ZZ as a layup. Fucking late, stay up. Stay up.